Tom Brady quietly shook hands with center Robert Hainsey only hours after getting in the second-gear lineman's face during the Tampa Bay Buccaneers' 19-3 win at Dallas on Sunday, September 11th. During Brady's Let's Go podcast, host Jim Gray brought up the post-game exchange with Hainsey and what he called a heated exchange during the game. Hainsey made his first career start at center for injured pro bowler Ryan Jensen. Brady and Hainsey's in-game exchange went viral on social media. Tom Brady yelling at his center Robert Hainsey, anyone want to translate? I always get after the center pretty good, but at the same time, he knows how much I care about him and love him, too, so I'm tough on him because I have very high expectations for our communication, for certain things that happen out there Brady told Gray. We had a few miscommunications on when the ball was supposed to come back, and it came back a little earlier than I thought, but, you know, it's his first game you get up there on the line of scrimmage, and a lot of things are happening. That's why experience and wisdom is very important in life, you know, because you make a lot of mistakes, Brady added. But, I know he's not the type of guy that makes them over and over again, so he'll do a great job as we keep going the Bucks picked Hainsey in the third round of the 2021 NFL Draft for his versatility as an offensive lineman. He played few snaps last year as a backup, but got thrust into a starting role with Jensen's knee injury in July. Hainsey graded 67-6 in his first career start per pro football focus. I knew who was who, what was what and was able to communicate it, Hainsey said on the Buccaneers radio network via JoeBucksFan.com. Hainsey noted during the Buccaneers radio network interview that right guard Shaq Mason, who once played with Brady in New England, helped him catch on to Brady's instructions. Hainsey called Mason a good translator sometimes for what Tom's seeing during the interview. Bucks GM Jason Litt, their Super Bowl not only did Hainsey have to navigate working with Brady, the former Notre Dame standout had to help rookie left guard Luke Godick, who also made his first career start. Hainsey told the Buccaneers radio network that he felt calm in being able to do that. Bucks general manager Jason Lick described the first game for the two young linemen as their Super Bowl during the Buccaneers radio network pregame broadcast via Joe Bucks fan com. Hainsey and Godick helped the Bucks offense tally 347 total yards and 19 points. Running back Leonard Fournette, who rushed for 127 yards and received the game ball, gave it to the offensive line instead per ESPN's Jenna Lane. Fournette said I'm proud of them and they did a great job afterward per Lane. Bucks receiver update on injured starter it didn't make things easier for the young offensive line when veteran tackle Donovan Smith injured his elbow and didn't return. Backup tackle Josh Wells stepped in for Smith and played 39 snaps. I thought he settled down pretty good. He got in, he was a little jittery, but he settled down after the first series, Bucks head coach Todd Bowles said about Wells on Tuesday, September 12th. I thought he played well Bowles couldn't confirm if Smith will play in week two or when he will return to the field. Smith hyperextended his elbow according to Bowles. It's a pain tolerance thing, so he's pretty sore right now. We'll monitor him during the week, Bowles added.